Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. This is going to be a short episode as a quick troubleshoot to the dig emulator front end uh, that I had done. I got a couple questions that are pretty common that kind of keep coming up. So I thought I would just make a quick video explaining how to troubleshoot these issues that may arise. Let's get started. So one question that I often get is, can you use a wireless controller on the RG552 or the DIG emulator? And a quick answer to that is no, you cannot. If we pull down the menu here and go to settings, we see under the wireless and networks on uh, clicking more that there is no Bluetooth capabilities on the RG552 which makes it to where we cannot connect any type of Xbox controller or third-party controller to this device and play our games with a wireless controller. Another question that I often get is how do I delete game files while inside the dig front end here? So if let's go to games and click Game Boy Advance Goldeneye here, the three dots in the upper right hand corner and manage game at the bottom. As we can see, we have delete this file. I'm gonna go ahead and click that button. Are you sure you wanna delete? Okay. And it says couldn't delete this file. So what you can do instead is click the three dots again, click manage game, and instead hit ignore this file. And that will hide the game from the menu here so you don't see it uh, in the, the systems. So what you could do is uh, let's go to our file manager. If we wanted to get rid of the game for good, uh, we're gonna go scroll up, click file manager or explorer here and SD card. And we're gonna scroll down to Game Boy Advance. There we go. And 007 here, click and hold and delete. Are you sure? Yes. All right, so now that that file is deleted, let's go ahead and go back to the dig front end. And we see that that 007 game is gone and completely removed from the system. One thing to note is that the dig front end does not have permission to delete from the micro SD card, but only write to it. Another common question that I get on the dig front end is that when first setting up the front end is we're going to download our personal themes and for whatever reason, you're getting a black screen. So let's go ahead and head over to settings and themes and then click on browse themes so this is very finicky sometimes it will load other times it will not it is honestly best just to not use this built-in theme browser and instead go to your google chrome and go to the website digdroid.com forward slash forms and you see here the third option is themes Let's go ahead and click on themes here. And we have all the themes that are available for the dig front end listed here. Let's go ahead and just click on a random one here. It's a comic book. And we have a preview of what it looks like. We're going to scroll on down to download. Click the zip file here. And sometimes it'll start to download right away. Other times you have to scroll down and actually click on the download file button um, again, or the little down arrow to the right of it. It's gonna have us confirm where we want that download file to go. I'm gonna put it in my downloads folder and that will start downloading. All right, now that that's downloaded, let's go back to dig. Go over to the system settings, themes, and what you're going to click on is install theme. So I'm going to be utilizing the emulated zero because that's where the download folder is. Your 1C16 is your micro SD card. And uh, that is not where that is, but that stores where all your ROMs are. So again, I'm going to click on the emulated slash zero for the internal storage and push up until I get to my download folder. And here at the top, we have our theme. Click on this and then click on confirm. So it's gonna start extracting it and installing all those icons and images and sometimes music. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Now you need to scroll down to select theme 
click on the down arrow and it's our top one at the top the 3d stylus comic books the next question i often get is when browsing for a game i don't have any box art only text so if i open up the game boy advance here i see the games listed out but it's only in text and no box art to fix this problem simply push the start button and it'll cycle through multiple views that you can choose from and find one that fits your personal aesthetic so the last question that I often hear is a certain game is not booting on the Android side, but it's working on the Linux side of things. And this mainly falls in line with Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. And a lot of that has to do with the emulator that uh, Dig is trying to use. So here's just a quick setup on how to make sure you're using one that's installed and that's configured properly. So to fix this, let's go ahead and click the three dots in the upper right hand corner and then scroll down to manage game. Then this top box here is the emulator we're trying to use. So I'm using the RetroArch, but it's usually system default or duck station by default. Um, and I've have issues with both of those. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up RetroArch. Um, and I personally like the PCSX rearmed core. So let's go ahead and move over to RetroArch and try to um, get this working. So here we are in RetroArch. First thing we need to do is click on load core. And then I have certain cores already installed, but you're going to scroll down to download a core. And then we need to scroll all the way down um, for quite a ways until we get to the Sony PlayStation. So here we are on Sony PlayStation. And as you can see, there are multiple cores available. Um, so Again, I like to use the PCSX rearmed. So that's right here. And you're going to click on that and download it. The download should only take just a second. Um, it's pretty fast. And you can tell what cores are installed based off the hashtag on the right hand side. So now that we have this installed, let's go ahead and go back to the dig emulator. So back here on dig uh, and our game here let's click the three dots in the upper right hand corner scroll down and click on manage game and then click on retro arch up here uh, and we need to make sure we're using the right core which is the pc sx rearmed and let's go ahead and click play all right and so the game is booting here and that should fix really for any game that you have issues with it's either the emulator's not compatible or um, it's trying to use one that's not installed and that's why you're getting those black screens or just error message popping up. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that this video kind of addressed any concerns that are coming up with the dig front end. I tried to compile them all of the common questions that I'm getting. If not, uh, please do join the Discord where we have a tab where we can kind of troubleshoot through uh, either device settings or even software stuff. Uh, and yeah, we'll kind of just hang out there. So again, thank you so much. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I'll see you all this Sunday with a new video. Take care.